Next, we'll, we'll, we'll hear from Sheila Katz, the CEO of the National Council of Jewish Women, NCJW, a network of 180,000 advocates across the U.S. and Israel advancing the rights of women, children, and families. Since her start as CEO, Sheila has overseen the founding of the, quote, Rabbis for Repro campaign, building a network of over 1,000 rabbis and Jewish clergy promoting reproductive health, rights, and justice. Uh, additionally, under Sheila's leadership, NCJW has made advancing anti-racism efforts at the national and local levels a priority, showing the intersectionality of racial justice in all the organization's main advocacy issues. Sheila was named by the Jerusalem Post as one of 2020's most influential Jews in the world and was named by the Center for American Progress as one of 2020's faith leaders to watch. She sits on the board of governors of Tel Aviv University and it's my great honor to hand the mic over to Sheila. Sheila, welcome. Thank you so much, Hanan. It's so good to see you. And thank you, Secretary Mayorkas, Josh, and Rebecca for your remarks. And thank you to the White House for hosting this event, celebrating Jewish American Heritage Month and lifting up the incredible work of our community and everything that we've done across the country. It is more important than ever to come together and have the support of our leadership with the growing threats of anti-Semitism and violence, both in the United States and around the world. Our Jewish values compel us to take action in the face of adversity like what we have seen over this past year during the pandemic. I'm proud that the National Council of Jewish Women's 180,000 advocates doubled down on their efforts to provide direct service to those in need. And here are just a few examples. So within a first, the first few weeks of going into quarantine, hundreds of NCJW advocates participated in our Hello Neighbor program that collectively made over 30,000 phone calls to reach older adults in our communities to make sure they had everything they needed to be okay while staying home, oftentimes on their own, and to offer a friendly voice to chat if they were feeling isolated. NCJW New York staff and volunteers continued running and expanding their food pantry for those in need of groceries throughout the pandemic, serving hundreds of families each week. NCJW Detroit ran the Kosher Meals on Wheels program, delivering 65,000 hot meals to the community nearly tripling their meal count compared to previous non-pandemic years. NCJW Los Angeles provided more than $1.2 million in rental assistance to help those facing eviction in Los Angeles to be able to stay in their homes during the pandemic. And NCJW Essex in New Jersey pivoted their free back to school store into a mobile unit to ensure that students had the resources they needed to engage in classes and online learning. And all of this was done in partnership with the local community and those most vulnerable. And it just scratches the surface as to the incredible organizing our advocates and Jewish women did to meet the needs of women, children, and families during this pandemic. And this was all happening as our reproductive rights continued to be attacked with laws around the country, classifying abortion clinics as non-essential and laws that were punishing people for having abortions. Our reproductive rights are both fundamental to us as Americans who have a constitutional right to reproductive care and as Jews, since Judaism prioritizes the life of a pregnant person. As Jews, we know that abortion care is healthcare and healthcare of all things needs to be expanded during a pandemic, not attacked. So our sections fought back. NCJW Arizona successfully fought 12 anti-abortion bills that entered the state's legislature amidst the largest public health crisis in years. NCJW works to improve the lives of women, children, and families. And this work has been especially vital during the pandemic. Since just this year alone, we've seen the gender wage gap regress to where it was in 1988, making it even more difficult for women to achieve equity in this country. Women were both the majority of essential workers and laid off workers during the pandemic facing risks to their own health and to their family's health or deep economic hardship. And one in 10 women reported quitting a job due to a pandemic related reason, often childcare and almost half said that one of the reasons was because they felt unsafe in the workplace. And the reality is even more severe for women of color who are already paid less on average 
and more likely to work in low wage jobs even before the pandemic. And for many families, the struggle to find affordable childcare, as we just heard from Becca, was already a problem before the pandemic. And the situation has only become more dire with the majority of the burden falling on mothers. Over one in 10 women reported new caregiving responsibilities as a result of the pandemic, and nearly half of working mothers took unpaid sick time because of the lack of accessible childcare. But the good news is, together we can and will end COVID-19, and we can get closer to a future that's more equitable and just for all people. Childcare is essential care, and that's why National Council of Jewish Women Advocates have been working to protect it as part of our country's core infrastructure as laid out in the President's American Families Plan. If we don't take care of our families, especially women and children, America cannot get back to work. We will continue to partner with this new administration to make sure this is a reality. We are also proud to partner with this administration and the White House to be a leader in the effort as a founding member of the COVID-19 Community Corps, a nationwide effort to encourage communities of all walks of life to receive their vaccination. And we're doing this by scaling up the efforts of NCJW Sacramento's Get Out the Vax campaign, which will help the NCJW advocates around the country mobilize their communities and neighbors to get vaccinated. As we celebrate Jewish American Heritage Month, now is the time to remember that our obligation to Pituach Nefesh, the commandment to save lives, is not yet over. As a Jewish community, we have made important contributions combating COVID-19, combating anti-Semitism and hate, combating gender inequity. And while there is still so much more work to do, National Council of Jewish Women is proud to be in this fight with all of you, and we look forward to achieving great things together in the coming months and years. Hanan, back to you. Thank you so much, Sheila. Uh, it's really great to see you and thank you for your, your ongoing leadership in this space. I think we're all deeply fortunate as a result.